Well, hey everyone, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Um, I just wanna let you know that the Lord put it on my heart the last few days to get the prophecies together that he's giving me and um, with the dates and stuff that, that he's fulfilled. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And of course, I'm gonna start with the, um, <laughs> the rapture one <laughs> because I misconstrued what um, rapture what coming meant. It didn't mean rapture, and I thought it did. I let my excitement get to me. But, um, so basically on Tubi Shavat, he said that he was coming. Um, and that was on the 5th and the 6th. Well, the 6th is when all of those, um, earthquakes happened in Turkey, and poor souls died. 30,000 people died that day, guys. It was awful. Um, he told me what beginning meant. He said on the next day, because I prayed and I asked him, you know, what he meant by that. And he said that, look up the definition. So I did. And it said just beginning and arrived. Well, then on February 15th, more destruction happened because he said it was his completion date and his holy day. Then I saw that a half crescent blood moon showed up over the Sea of Galilee, unscheduled. So um, he told me on February 16th, I heard the word contractions. So um, he was letting us know that they have started. And then he told me in another message the baby would be delivered soon. Um, okay, and then on January 27th and 28th, he talked about the Gog and Magog, Ezekiel 38, starting but hasn't launched yet. He was lining up the players um, going after Israel. And he said, keep eyes on Israel. I will stand behind them. Watch the enemies fall. I am the ruler of the heavens and earth. I will defend Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Well, that was on January 27, 28th, and then on February 6th, all of those earthquakes happened to Turkey. And um, Syria got one as well. And, okay, so he said on February 19th that um, he said new players formed in Gog and um, Turkey was defeated. Well, I just assumed that he was talking about the other earthquakes. I didn't realize he was talking about February 20th. So the next day, Turkey got another earthquake, and so did Syria. And then on February 22nd, Lebanon got earthquakes as well. And he also told me that in a previous video that they were going to get earthquakes. Um, and then he said, Iran is taking Turkey's place. So then um, on the 27th, when he told me that Gog was starting, that nine hours later, because he gave me that message that night, uh, missiles hit Iran and they blamed it on Israel. Um, he also told me on January 27th that Obama and the I word, I love my sis, um, are a team and they will destroy the government with a wage war. You will see fires in the cities. You will see floods and earthquakes and economy will fall. Well, the economy hasn't fallen yet, but it, it's going to. Um, Obama will rise soon in power. Well, I heard Obama took a position February 15th behind the scenes. Um, someone sent me that and then, um, they don't know, you know, what happened with all the fires and the, the train derailments as well. Um, so, <laughs> uh, he's talked a lot about fires in the cities and then all this started happening. Um, so February 25th, um, it was fulfilled. Kentucky had an earthquake and he told me that would happen um, he gave me that message February 9th, February 11th, and February 24th, trying to warn them. And then they got it on 25th. He told me on February 15th that the oil refineries will be blown up. And then three pipelines of oil refineries blew up on February 23rd. He told me that um, the Philippines would get an earthquake on February 9th. And then February 22nd, that happened. He told me that Obama was going to appear on CNN tonight. And I don't know if tonight means that night or if it's, you know, I don't watch CNN or watch the news. So I don't know what that meant. However, I did see that CNN um, just announced that Obama is on this article for in pursuit for a more perfect union. And they mentioned um, Obama the other day um, when the pres the secretary um, let's see, you're going to laugh at me because I don't even remember her name, but she was talking about Biden and she accidentally said President Obama and then laughed about it. So I believe he's definitely already in power behind the scenes. And I think that happened February 15th. Um, December 30th, he says, Texas, are you awake yet? More is coming. 
January 20th, Texas needs to wake up, and then Texas burning happened February 24th. Okay, and then, sorry, my eye itches. Um, and then he gave me Pandemic is Coming. He told me that February 6th and February 7th. And then I saw an article that Pandemic is Here, February 12th, the Marburg virus. Um, he told me that the I word, love my sis, again, um, is on the move in January 27th. And then I saw some articles about it February 1st. Um, he told me January 12th, there'll be fire through the cities. And February 3rd, the Ohio train derailment happened. He told me January 7th, floods in Kelly were coming. And then they came on January 10th. He told me that there will be high magnitude earthquakes coming on January 16th. And then they happened February 6th in Turkey and other places. He told me that missiles were going to launch at Israel on February 19th, and then they launched at Israel on February 22nd. Someone tagged me in that. He told me recently lots of snow was coming on February 15th, um, and Montreal, Canada would get over five feet. I don't know about Montreal yet, but I guess we'll just have to see. But that started Tuesday, February 21st. They started issuing the snow warnings after that. He said February 3rd. In February 15th, there would be a shift in the atmosphere. And then I saw an article came out on February 8th and February 20th about it. Um, he told me massive floods were coming um, February 7th, 9th, 11th, and 15th. And then I started seeing articles on the 16th all over. So it seems like he gives multiple warnings before he does any of these things, guys. Um, he said mudslides are going to happen on February 15th. He told me that message and then I saw that they started happening February 20th. He said sinkholes would come January 16th and then I said they started happening in February. I was googling all my information to get it since I don't follow anything. Um, so he said the missiles are striking tonight, air missiles. So I don't know what he meant by the air missiles, um, but I do know that a meteorite hit Texas that night and also um, he said they were coming to Florida, New York, and Texas. And so the meteorite hit Texas that night, and then a nursery plant blew up in Florida with five acres. And then a few days later, New York got some explosions. So I do the best to understand what God means. I just say the words that I hear, and, you know, it is what it is. I'm human. Um, and then he also said February 15th, my child, the drinking water will no longer be drinkable soon. The air will be hazardous to breathe in soon. Well, there's been a total of 17 explosions now, guys, maybe even more now since I started looking at this, but um, from train derailments, explosions of plants, all of it getting in our water and hazardous in the air. So all of that is happening. And, you know, he warned fires in the cities for a long time in January before any of this started happening. He also said that alien deception was going to increase um, he told me at two o'clock that afternoon, I got that message out and well, he actually gave me the message in the morning, but I couldn't get it out till two because I had errands to run. <laughs> Sorry, God. Um, but then, um, the Senator that night started talking about locking your doors that night because of aliens. Now we know that they're really fallen angels. That that's a deception. Um, but also I saw an article that Biden was talking about the balloons as unidentified objects. Um, so guys, all of that is coming, you know, they have to explain the rapture away. Um, like I said, I am human. I'm not perfect. I just say what I hear and I'm being obedient to Jesus. I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died for us and he rose three days later. And guys, I love Jesus. I'm doing all of this for Jesus. People keep asking me about monetization. I do not monetize my channel. My label even asked me to monetize. I told them no. Guys, it's all about Jesus and his messages. And he said, once you gain something and you profit something, you are no longer hearing from him. So I'm doing my best to just get his messages out and sacrificing whatever I have to sacrifice, you know, church, whatever, you know, I just, I have to do it for Jesus. So I love you. Thank you for listening. And, um, God, oh, he also let me know that he wants me to do a video, a long video of all the, all the words and prophecies he's given me. So I have that working on that now. Okay. God bless.